Damn, she is possessed, man. We need some holy waters. That's what I like to see. Women cooking. <gasps> is that bleach? Oh, not the bleach, bro. <laughs> so she chose to pick on the quiet kid. But little does she know that my guy believes in equal rights and equal lefts. But anyways, welcome back to more BSI following on TikTok, man. If you guys want to reach out to me, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I do respond to DMs. And if you guys want extra exclusive content, go ahead and get my Patreon, man. I'm uploading a bunch of content on there this week. With that said, let's get to the video. Uh, you ever take a plan B? Yeah. How many? Three. Wow. Take tax, huh? You go on campus? Can I, can I go to your door? I can? All right, come on. Damn, it's that easy. She actually going. And pay attention to what she says next. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, that's, that's crazy. That's... So what, what we gonna do in your door? We fucking. A lot of mercy. I know y'all thinking. Damn, is that easy? That's why I always say, man, if you went to college or if you're going to college and you're not fucking hideous, you know what I'm saying? If you don't like Voldemort out here, you can get some pussy. I'm a firm believer in that statement. Actions are based on a misunderstanding of how we have survived together. It is a contract. I thought you were going to tell me to like. <laughs> I thought the same thing too, my guy. I cannot lie. Just like this girl. That's on a whole bunch of drugs. You need some water? Here you go. Suck in. Okay. Suck in. Okay. Suck in. Suck in. No, with the straw. I don't know if it's cause she's drugged up, but the fact that she thinks the straw is his penis must mean he got a millimeter defeater. Now, when you have a millimeter defeater, you have to compensate for it like my guy right here. And little does he know he's about to embarrass the f out of himself. I just want to know, how is the glass that delicate, man? This man took one step and it was gone. <laughs> that shit cracked into a million pieces. What the hell, bro? Now look at the girl's face. She's so disappointed right now. He just embarrassed both of them. And he tried to hop back in the car and played it off like nothing happened. No, my guy. We all saw that, man. We saw the embarrassment. And this video right here cracked me the hell up. This man made the rooster do his job. <laughs> Yeah, how does it feel, bitch? How does it feel? <laughs> oh, now you wanna do it? It's too late now, boy. I did it to you first, you bitch. And speaking of cocks, no diddy. That's what roosters are called, your cocks. Get your mind out of the gutter. Whoever pissed my girl off probably got a stroke game on lock, man. She going crazy. This is literally how three-year-olds act when they don't get their way. This is how they act when you take their candy bars away. <laughs> you see how she's super calm right now? She's acting this way on purpose. She don't want to hear about it. She don't want to hear that, man. She don't want to be held accountable. So I don't know exactly what she did, but they wanted to remove her and she doesn't want that to happen, man. So she's acting like a three-year-old. All right, so I came across this next video on Twitter. This woman called this man the N-word and this is how he reacted by knocking her lights out. <laughs> Obviously, I can't show that part. So the husband tries to come to her defense, but he couldn't do shit. <laughs> he couldn't do shit, man. He's like, oh, I got angry black man. Oh, oh, shit. 
And he goes like, Gorilla! <laughs> Anything I don't show in any of my videos, y'all can find it on Patreon. So go to my Patreon for that. Me personally, man, if I get called an N-word, I'm not gonna like start swinging. The only reason I would swing is if they come up in my face and try to hit me. I'm gonna hit them. Yeah, yeah, I feel like Bruce Lee. Chop power like a movie. Paper cut that nigga like some loosely. 800 is not bad, but I've done better. That's a that's an off hit right there. It's an off day. I'm not gonna get fucking triggered and try to kill you. I'm not doing that, man. I ain't got time for that. I got money to make. Some of these white people gotta know, them, man. It's 2024. Interracial relationships are going up, and it also means that more and more food is getting unseasoned. Who put you in charge of the chicken? I wanna know that too. <laughs> and we did. That ain't cleaning the chicken. Got putting bleach. What a seasoning. Who taught them how to cook? What? And I use all the seasoning. What do you mean? What seasoning? Salt and she used pepper. And she used pepper. You supposed to put both. No, this one's pepper. This one's salt. All right, come on, let's go. Chipotle. Yeah. Yeah. At that point, they trying to kill us. And I always say, if you're not sneezing, it ain't seasoning. And that clip was from my LA vlog, man. Go to my second channel and check that out, man. If you want to see what I was up to in LA. <laughs> Oh, that's her twin, man. <laughs> that, that's her twin right there. Shit, man. Hey, do y'all believe soulmates can be plants and trees and inanimate objects? Do y'all believe that? Because you know you see those stories of men being in love with balloons and marrying their cars. Good morning, baby. You're a handsome man. Do you think cars have souls? Let me know, man, because ain't no way. That look just like her, bro. <laughs> That might have been her twin flame right there, reincarnating as a red pepper. Speaking of twin flames and reincarnation, one of the most spiritual animals on this planet are cats. They say cats have nine lives because they can actually see you through the nine dimensions. So look at what this cat does to this woman when she says her pronouns. Hi, my name is Erin. I use she, her pronouns, and I am a... Yeah, her cat not playing with that bullshit. He ain't got too many lives for her. <laughs> Alright, so this man was clearly trying to walk away from her, and I can't put the entire thing in this video because of YouTube guidelines. So if you guys want to see the, the entire clip, go to my Patreon. So she hits him a few times, and then he starts to go crazy on her, man. He showed her the difference between women and men, because clearly she did not know. And a lot of times in these videos, it's always a man just trying to walk away, but they get provoked. And then when they unleash that wrath and go super saiyan, these girls get completely overpowered and they just rethink their lives. And I don't condone violence at all, especially against women. But if you're going to believe in equality and fairness, don't put your hands on other people because they might just put their hands back on you. And here's something I never thought I'd see in my lifetime. Deaf people threatening each other on Instagram Live. <laughs> Hey man, that was a battle to the death. <laughs> uh, not funny. What do you think about retro decambulation? What that? What that is? Retro decambulation? Yeah. When you have like a, a spurving lunar wane shaft, prevent side fumbling. All right. Shit, man, I can't. We don't. We don't really have that that problem around here. So we. How do you not know he's speaking know nonsense? Like right? a logarithmic case surmounted and prefamiliated amulet. Say some bullshit. Yeah, I'm a little too black. I ain't gonna lie. You used some big ass words. See, this is why I don't like it, man. Just because you're black, you can't know words. Come on, man. This reminds me like last month I used the word embellish in a text message to my friend, and he was like, "Yo, you using big words." Whoa, I'm like, why are you so surprised, bro? I went to school, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I went to school, I have a college degree. Like, like they expect black people not to use big words. And I can't blame them, man, especially when you have niggas saying this shit. Let, let's use some vocab words, man. Embellish, summation, plethora. What's another one? What's another one? Stupendous, perspicacity, fortitude, prestidigitation, regurgitate. I just know, man, somewhere, somebody making fun of me right now for knowing words. They're like, ah, ha, ha, you think you're smart? You that reminds me of a video I saw where, where they're saying, like, black people will clown you for being smart or for reading books. <clears throat> My niggas, you read? <laughs> 
I mean, I don't see the problem with it. <laughs> Yo, ass really being Jeff, come here, bro. You gotta see this, bro. Look at this nigga. Yo, ass reading, dude. What the fuck? These niggas making fun of me because I'm reading? What the fuck? They got some truth to that, bro. I'm not gonna lie. There's some truth to that. And here's a video that popped up on my TikTok about body positivity. Fat people on airplanes. 853 million people fly on U.S. airlines every year. I surveyed thousands of travelers and over 86% of them believe the airline industry is not plus size friendly. This has to change. In 2023, I initiated a petition demanding that air travel become more inclusive. Over 35,000 people have signed it. The fight is far from over. Since launching the petition, it's become even more clear that society unfairly believes plus size. Individuals shouldn't travel comfortably or without skin. However, this only fuels my determination to fight for inclusive travel. Plus size individuals won't be deterred, and I'm committed to advocating for change until it's achieved. Travel is for everybody and nobody should be discriminated against. Sign the petition at change.org slash plus size travel. She's committed to changing the airplane or airline industry but she's not committed to changing her health. Bro, these refrigerated defeaters, they will do anything but lose weight, bro. This shit crazy. Bro, she's literally starting a whole movement. <laughs> Instead of getting to the gym and moving, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Airplanes have existed since 1903, and it's not until this era, this decade, that people are complaining, oh, airplanes are too small for us fat people. Lose some weight, man, god damn. <laughs> This man hired a male masseuse to massage his girl. What the fuck, bro? Wait for massage. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, God. Oh, I'm good, this man is pretty much paying to be a cook. That's tough. Did you lose your virginity? Was it a good experience, bad experience? I, wow. had, a, I had a good That's experience. That's really personal. Is it? You shouldn't ask questions like well, that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's with my first boyfriend. He was yeah. Really Where's he now? Where's he I'm still dating him. Three oh my god, really? Yeah. Congratulations. Almost That's actually years. fucking dope. Yeah. You guys gotta get. Wow, Super look yeah. at yeah. that. I was yeah, about to say, you know. So this seems like a wholesome moment, right? Like her marrying her first boyfriend, having one body. You don't hear that too often. But then she goes ahead and shows her true character in a second. Look at this. No, honestly, that's the dream right there. Yeah. Hopefully I end up like you guys one day, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But uh You might not though. I might not? Probably no. not, no. Why not? For, we had because really my great boyfriend first is times. like top tier. Like, He's top tier? That's yeah. true. What makes him top tier? Give us some qualities. He's the best boyfriend ever. Why? You gotta explain why. Because he listens to me. Okay. Somehow the only quality she listed about her boyfriend is what he does for her. She couldn't really name anything else about him. It's amazing. Yeah, exactly. He does everything I want, right? It's a really hard thing for guys. So what, I wouldn't listen. Days. Are you saying that I'm not capable of listening to somebody? Um, <laughs> She's I mean, like, most guys, well, first so. of all, you're shorter than me. So. Okay. Okay. You know, like that's all. Well, who said I'm going for you though? Huh? Who said I'm going to go for you? Obviously, I want to go for you because you're taller than me. I mean, like, what? Well, I model, so like a, a lot of people. Okay. Yeah. I don't get where you're going with this. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, I mean, like, what do you do for a living? What? She could have just continued to be wholesome. Say, hey, you're going to find your girl one day. You know what I'm saying? But instead, she got to be like, no, you're kind of short. You will never be able to get me, pretty much. He's not trying to get her, though. So I don't know what. I don't know where the fuck that came from. <laughs> oh, she's smoking that crack, bro. <laughs> I'm dating a broke guy and it really really sucks because he has the best personality hands down i have so much fun with him and but it's like it's gotten to the point where right now i'm not doing as financially well as i normally do so in the past like we have taken trips but i've paid for the trips i've paid for the hotel i've paid for the rental of the car if we've been to concerts i've paid for the tickets but he doesn't do enough you know what I'm and I got no reason to like shame or clown this girl because I mean, it's facts. When girls are younger, they will put up with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Especially if the guy's good looking. If the guy's good looking like and he's broke, they will still date him and pay for shit. That's usually how it is until they get older. And the older you get, the more you're going to want that security because the bills are piling up. You want to travel. You might have kids. So she either got to leave him 
or keep paying them bills, baby. If you're at a point that you can't provide for a woman, you shouldn't be out looking for girls to date, man. Maybe you have your fun here and there, but don't look for a relationship, bro. Because if you have no money, you should be focused on getting that money, being a better version of yourself before you get in a relationship. And here's a video to remind us to be grateful for life, bro. Be grateful every day. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> It's a great day, you know what I'm saying? It's a great day, man. I just love how kids appreciate every moment. Cause I took my little brother, he's 11. I took him to a Korean barbecue. It was his first time being there. And he was just, he was just excited, just living in the moment saying, oh my God, I love this. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you forget to be thankful for shit. Be grateful for life. And with that said, I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace out.